Okay, kiddos, today is Wednesday. I haven't talked to you guys for a week. It has been absolutely crazy. I haven't talked today, so if I'm extra raspy, it's pollen, it's age, and I haven't talked. So, welcome back to Magic Manifesting Mayhem. All that good stuff. I'm going to uh, bang a couple things into this video. Oh, I woke up exhausted but excited because it has been a heck of a week. So I wanted to let you guys know what happened and why I was gone for a week. I know the rumors have been flying. I've gotten a couple messages from people. The other thing, I have a number of things I want to review and we're going to finish this chapter. Oh, and then later on today, I'm going to have a video for um, new, 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 new products. Uh, so good, good things did come out of all of this. And, um, yeah, I am going to still, we're still going to do three videos this week. This is just one. I will have another one today. Might have another one Thursday and definitely will have free reading Friday. So check around, check your, uh, stick around for that. I was going to say, check that out and, uh, check it out and stick around. So where do I start? I'm going to give you the news first. So basically I had, um, a situation here, there was, everybody was like, are you okay? Are you sick? Are you like getting divorced? Like what's the, no, it's nothing as bad as that, but it's actually much worse. If that makes sense. Um, if you guys know me and you've talked to me, basically, um, I don't, I shouldn't say I don't care about people, but I believe people make their own choices. So if something happens to them, you know, they had a, um, voice in it. They had a, they had a, uh, uh, some, some of a responsibility in it. Okay. And they can also choose to get themselves out. I had, um, what I thought was a friend drop a dog off here because they had a tree fall on their house, um, drop their dog off at my house. And they were like, Oh, the dog has some cough from the tree falling on the house and then just took off. And, um, the dog got progressively sicker and sicker and sicker. I mean, really, really, really bad, very bad. Um, and I was begging to take the dog in and, uh, it was very, uh, disconcerting because this person was not choosing to take responsibility and weren't letting me, uh, do what I needed to do to take care of the dog. So I had about two days where I had to doctor as best I could uh, to this dog that very much needed medical help. Um, and then the dog had kennel cough, but that if anybody's had a dog that has that, it progresses very quickly. And, um, and then my dogs were at risk. So, um, yeah, it was, it was emotionally and physically very draining, you know? And, and then when the person did come to pick up their dog, they said, well, it was all my fault because I invited them to stay. <laughs> So it was, uh, yeah, yeah, it was something else. It was something else. It was very, um, yeah. So we're just going to go with that. And I mean, if you want to ask me questions on top of that, we can, but I don't want to give up this person's privacy, even though I don't think they're um, a very nice person. Um, but that's what happened. So it was nothing. Yeah. I've been getting the, um, are you closing down? Are you, dying or are you getting a divorce? Those are the big questions I've been being asked. No, none of those things. Um, but then on the bright side of it, after all this happened, um, and my dogs as of right now are fine. I mean, they have their shots and everything and they don't have any symptoms, even though I sound like I do because <laughs> I'm very stuffy right now. Um, they, uh, <clears throat> I have another little surprise dog named Peanut, Peanut the Chihuahua and Peanut is chilling in the bed right now watching, uh, Euphoria. I've never seen that, but it just came on, on, up on the, the telly. Uh, so Peanut is a, uh, she, we're going to try her out. She's going to hang out with us for a little bit. So you'll get to see a video of her or I'll put some pictures up of her. And, um, if she works out, she gets along with everybody. Uh, it, you know, she has to, she has to get, you know, she has to, um, get along with Gypsy. As we know, Gypsy's the matriarch. She already gets along with Lucy because Lucy loves everybody. You know, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy gets along with everybody. So, um, we, as long as they all get along and then she can stay, you know, but we have to make sure Gypsy's comfortable. And just so you know, if she does not stay, she already has a beautiful giant home with a loving mommy that she 
so she's not like she's gonna go the pound or something like that it's nothing like that but so you might get to see little peanut pretty soon so let me get on to reviews i have rambled for five minutes but hopefully now you know what the heck is going on and don't forget to stick around to the end because we're gonna do this too so we're gonna this is all over video today and i think i'm gonna adjust this higher I'm gonna adjust, uh, well, let's see a little yeah that's better i don't know why i had it so low okay where to start? Okay, I don't even know where to start. We'll just start at the very beginning. Real okay, I had to open these because I had a phone call. I had to open these. I am so stuffy, guys. I am so sorry. Um, I want to tell you something. I've had Harmon card on $150 earphones. Get these. These are 10 bucks at Walmart. I think they're $9.99, whatever, plus whatever your state taxes. Get these. Okay, skull candy. These are the best headphones. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I run through about two to three sets a year, but don't forget, I'm also on the phone 24 hours a day, okay? But these take a beating, okay? And usually only one ear goes out first, so you can you can kind of limp it along for a minute. Hold on, i got to get a tissue. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to blow my nose, but my eyes run. My eyes run. Not the rest of my face, just my eyes. So, um... These are the best. And I, do I even have them here? Nope. They're upstairs. Okay. But so you see what the box looks like. These, oh, it says two-year warranty. I probably should keep my uh, my receipts. Um, Skull Candy. I, I, you know, I don't know how I lucked out figuring this out. And you don't have to get them. They're not in the um, the section where you have to get an, uh, an uh, assistant to help you, like to get the, the helper person to help you. Skull Candy earphones. There you go. Get these if you need earphones. I know the wireless ones are very big, but charging them, and I would lose them, or one of my dogs would eat them. Um, so this, I'm still old school. I'm still on the wired, all right? Check those out, okay? Number three, number 15, whatever we're at. The, are you a girl? Do you shave things? Can I tell you something? The men's razors are a half to sometimes a third the price. And you can get a coupon on top of it. A half to a third the price. And you can get a coupon. I'm just telling you. Okay. Not putting that out there. I think they shave better. I'm not going to lie to you. I think they shave better. Have I gone over this before? I don't know. So I'm just going to go over it again. Um, you can make this yourself and don't forget I have, uh, oh, I have charcoal. Don't forget to check out my charcoal soaps. Um, you can make this yourself as a scrub, but cheapest, best. If you have dry skin, this will get rid of the dry skin. If I'm going to tell you something, I'm use this for oily skin because this pulls a lot of crap out of my pores, which really, really, really helps. And it exfoliates. I exfoliate every day. Uh, for a lot of people, they exfoliate once a week. That's fine. I exfoliate every day because I'm extra like that. So check this out. I think this is $3. Again, I've had the bougie face scrubs. This is like really, really, really good. Okay. I'm going back and forth on doing a Mercari or selling these on Etsy because I am actually getting my hands on. This is an old one. Okay. If you're into like, I don't know if you can see, if you're into the 1980s, I know the young people, I already went through the 80s once. I was already cool in the 80s, but I know the young people are doing that 80s, 90s look again. Um, isn't that crazy? I was actually out. I was actually out on Saturday night, which is like unheard of. I was out on Saturday night and... I seriously saw A.C. Slater and Kelly Kapowski walk down the street. And I remarked to my friend, I was like, are we in Saved by the Bell? So I know the young people. You know, I'm an old fuddy-duddy that dresses like Stevie Nicks and Peg Bundy. But um, the young people are doing... So these are very 80s. So if you are doing that, if you're rocking like the 80s vintage look or the, or the early 90s vintage look, you cannot get more vintage than this. I mean, these, these are actually from that time period. Like, no joke, all right? These are amazing. So they're like, it's almost like a dark mauve. It's not, I don't know if it's how it's reading on camera, but I'm going to see if I can block some of the light here. 
These are amazing. And they have jewels. And I'm going to tell you something. I am. I just took my nails off last night. Um, the glue is probably dry, but let me know if you want these. Um, these were very hard to get. Oh, by the way, what is, what is the thing? I was looking up things online that were rare, rare. How do we spell rare? R-A-R-E, right? Okay. Um, they're not marked rare anymore. They're marked V-H-T-F. Very hard to find. So it's the same amount of letters... And it's a longer sentence for the word rare. <laughs> it's like, it means the same thing. I don't, I don't get, I just, I, I'm too, I'm getting too old. That's what it is. So these were VHTF, um, very hard to find. So, um, yeah, let me know. I'm going to start just doing like the real vintage ones, like the real hard to find ones, because on Etsy, you can't put new stuff. You have to put vintage. So I'm going to put some vintage stuff. Okay. The other thing, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if it's my allergies or what. Maybe I have kennel cough. Maybe that's what it is. Klein's brand yarn is my favorite yarn in the world. I actually have some um, tons of yarn left over from some uh, blankets and some doggy coats and things that I did. So I'm going to be putting that up because a lot of those are discontinued. So now they are vintage. Line brand yarn. Go on zoolily.com. Do I have my receipt? No, but I have my box here. I'll show you. Do you know what Zulily is? If you don't, you should. Ah, can you see it? Is it shown? Zulily. Zulily.com. Okay. Now, their shipping sucks. Just so you know. Their shipping is um, two weeks to a month, if not more. Oh, Lucy just came in to visit. Hi, Lucy. Good morning. Um, so just so you know, whatever you, you get incredible prices now shop around, not everything is an incredible price. Some things are, and you really have to click around. It's a bargain hunt online. They started, they, they do clothing. They do women's clothing mostly. Oh, peanut just got here. Peanut, come here. Come here, peanut. Peanut is very confused by the South. She's very, she's only like four pounds. She's very, very, very tiny. Um, they started selling yarn. So if you are a yarn person, or if you just like to find cool, cheap stuff, go to Zulily. But I was shocked when I saw yarn on it. I've been shopping there for, I don't know, 10 years. And now they start. So this is the uh, uh, Date Night Lion's Brain yarn. Lion's Brain is not, I thought they were closing, but I do have, that's my favorite yarn. If you ever want to get me a, a present, give me, give me a Lion's Brain gift card. Um, and this actually has... I don't know if you can see the metallic in it, but it is soft as butter. This is one of the softest yarns I have ever touched in my life. You would think with the metallic, it would be terrible. It's great. Okay. So date night yarn is a win. And on Zoo Lily, it's extra cheap. All right. I think that's all the reviews we're going to do today. Let's hop into the book. I just want to let you guys know I did not forget about you. And we're going to start up regular. And I'm going to do some shopping and then... Uh, I'm going to come back and film some awesome videos for you. So Peanut is in the background making a bunch of noise. Peanut, come here. Peanut. She's just having a good old time. I don't know what she's doing. So we stopped here in the book. Where did we stop? <clears throat> we stopped right here. <coughs> I am so sorry. I'm coughing and sneezing on you. Oh, God bless me. My goodness, my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm going to take an allergy pill and I'm going to get right with the day. Okay. Okay, it is really not the number of things you do, but the efficiency of each separate action that counts. Every act is in and of itself a success or a failure. I think we read this before, but let's just go over it again. Every act in and of itself is either effective or inefficient. Every inefficient act is a failure. If you spend your life doing inefficient acts, your whole life will be a failure. The more things you do, the worse for you if all your acts are inefficient. On the other hand, every efficient act is a success in itself. And if every act in your life is an efficient one, your whole life must be a success. The cause of failure is doing too many things in an inefficient manner and not doing enough things in an efficient manner. You will see that this is self, a self-evident proposition that if you do not do any inefficient acts and if you do a sufficient number of efficient acts, you will become rich. What a tongue twister is that one. If now it is possible for you to make each act an efficient one, you see again that the getting of riches is reduced to an exact science like mathematics. The matter turns then on the question of whether you can make each separate act a success in itself. And this you can certainly do. 
You can make each act a success because all power is working with you. All power cannot fail. Power is at your service and to make each act efficient, you have only to put power into it. Every action is either strong or weak. And when everyone is strong, you are acting in a certain way, which will make you rich. Every act can be made strong and efficient by holding your vision while you are doing it and putting the whole power of your faith and purpose into it. It is at this point that people fail to separate mental power from personal action. They use the power of the mind in one place and at one time, and they act in another place and at another time. So their acts are not successful in themselves. <clears throat> Too many of them are inefficient. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. I'm choking through this with my, uh, my allergies. But if all power goes into every act, no matter how commonplace, every act will be a success in itself. And as in the nature of things, every success opens the way to other successes. Your progress toward what you want and the progress of what you want toward you, it will become increasingly rapid. Remember that successful action is cumulative in its results. Since the desire for more in life is inherent in all things, when a man begins to move toward a larger life, more things attach themselves to him, and the influence of his desire is multiplied. Do every day all that you can do that day, and do each act in an efficient manner. In saying that you must hold your vision while you are doing each act, however trivial or commonplace. You know, I, do, I, I remember explaining this to my husband one time, and he, he just thought I was nuts. And he, because I'm a really good cook. And he was like, why are you, like, because, like, I can cook it. I'm making a grilled cheese. It's, like, the best grilled cheese you ever had. And I don't think it's exceptional. But he said, why do you do that? I said, because I pray over the food while I'm doing it. Oh. Did you hear that? Did you hear peanut in the background? She was like, I want a grilled cheese. So I'm praying over the food. I'm, like, I'm literally, like, putting good thoughts, good, good, good deeds, good actions, good thoughts, good vibes. And I'm just so excited to make that grilled cheese. So it's like, yeah. So basically, trivial thing like making a grilled cheese. I'm going to make that the best grilled cheese I can. And I'm going to be happy while I'm doing it. So that's what he's saying. Like, just dumb little things. I do not mean to say it is necessary at all times to see the vision distinctly and into its smallest details. It should be the work of your leisure hours to use your imagination on the details of your vision and to contemplate them until they are firmly fixed upon memory. If you wish speedy results, spend practically all your spare time in this practice. By continuous contemplation, you will get the picture of what you want, even to the smallest details so firmly fixed upon your mind and so completely transferred into the mind of the formless substance that your working hours you only need to mentally refer to the picture to stimulate your faith and purpose and cause your best efforts to be put forth. Contemplate your picture in your leisure hours until your consciousness is so full of it that you can grasp it instantly. You will become so enthused with its bright promises that the mere thought of it will call forth the strongest energies of your whole being. Let us again repeat our syllabus and by slightly changing the closing statements, bring it to a point that we have now reached. I wonder if this is going to be the end of every chapter. The thinking stuff from which all things are made and which in its original state permeates, penetrates, and fills the interspaces of space. And <laughs> Peanut's standing, right? She wants to get up, but if I reach down to pick her up, she's going to freak out. Peanut! Come here! No, oh, she's just standing there. A thought in the substance produces the thing that is imagined by the thought. Man can form things into his thought, and by impressing his thought upon the formless substance, can cause the thing he thinks to be created. In order to do this, man must pass from the competitive to the creative mind. He must form a clear mental picture of all the things he wants to do with purpose and faith, all that can be done each day by doing each separate thing in an efficient manner. Yay! Beautiful. I'm sorry to split that chapter into two, but how many do we have left? Not much. We got this much left. That much. That's it. I think just two chapters. Maybe we'll do these today. So thank you guys for hanging in with me. I know it's been a, I, I was off for a little bit. I wasn't off. I was working my butt off, but um, I did not do the videos. We will have lots of videos this week. Buy some yarn, buy this book. Oh, I ordered the Neville Goddard book. We're going to start that after this one. Okay. Have a great day, guys. Have a successful Wednesday.